This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. All right. Uh, you're pretty sure that if you drop the rope ladder down all the way, somebody down there is going to see this ladder go. There's uh, a mound of rubble at the bottom of the shaft where some of the debris fell through. And obviously, if there's anybody in the larger room below, unless you do something like maybe tie off the last few feet of the ladder so it doesn't roll all the way down. Hmm. How much of a jump do we think there is between the... Uh, you think about 20 feet. Okay, so it, if, if we don't want to take 2d10 or whatever, it's probably right. best to have the ladder. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but we could tie off the last maybe five rungs of it or whatever yeah. so that they don't see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's a, good, that, that's a very good plan, Dungeon Master. Thank you. You guys thought of it. <laughs> the You drop the ladder down so that it doesn't quite hang into the room. Right. You can hear the odd voice now and then say something. Uh, you get the impression that whoever's down there is sort of in exploratory mode. Oh, okay. So this is this is probably new for them, too. They probably haven't figured <clears throat> the whole thing out. Well, I, I, I say... All right, dwarf first. I was just going to say, now, we, yeah. we all know yeah, how this goes, first. right? Absolutely. Okay. Bin win. You start I'm, to lower yourself I'm down. I'm embracing this this time. All right, dwarf down first. Bam. Okay. Who's following Bin win? Maybe said maybe said dwarf, striker, cleric. Yeah, that, okay. makes, that, that makes sense. War wizard. Yeah. Got it. All right, uh, move your figures from this particular board. Look oh, at man. that. Look at you. Wow. Oh, oh, we really fancy. do need a webcam now. Yeah, wouldn't it be great to have like a camera Shit, set up right yes. here? Yes, it would be totally awesome. Okay. So as someone who listened to the first podcast and felt so, so envious every time you described something cool, <laughs> to uh, get to actually see it <laughs> is so no, awesome. Listen, I'm here to tell you that <laughs> we did not have anything this cool last night. No. But also, as someone who knows what it's like to listen to it, and you guys go, that's awesome. I know that everybody listens to oh, I want to see this. Fuck you. I'm going to attempt to describe this for the people who are listening. So, oh, this is cool. So, this is like, this is a big, like, maybe a, a 24 inch foam, uh, board. foam core board uh, that's painted black. And then, resting atop it are all these cool dungeon tiles. Uh, and and there's they're making a bit of a labyrinth. And there's so this room that we're going to fall into, there's a pile of rubble. Uh, that's marked as difficult terrain, and then around it, there's like some glowing kind of pots and some things that are stacked up to look like columns, and then uh, something else that's sort of stacked up that looks like but, it might be like. But, a, but, it's uh, uh, but he, yeah. he's actually done like elevation. Yeah, 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 yeah. So instead of just being flat on the thing, that's actually raised up to give the real appearance of things being stacked up. That's it's very cool. So these triangles represent difficult terrain. Is right. That what yeah. you're, so yeah. double move. Yeah. Yes. Cost. Okay. And uh, as you've, you can't shift through it. as you've surmised, the shaft basically is on top of those four squares uh, and sort yeah. of uh, drops down in the middle of the room. Binwin, as Hell, you're the first yeah. to peer Hell. through, you're not actually technically on the floor yet, but right. you're upside down and looking. You see there are four thick columns that mm -hmm. support the room, and those are these four raised Correct. black areas. The room is lit by two smoldering braziers uh, that look quite valuable because they're traced in gold. You can see some supplies pushed off to toward one end, and some piles of skulls, um, littering collections. collections of skull skulls littering the floor. But certainly, the most uh, the obvious thing you see is that there are scaffolds built up against the walls, and they look very, very old and dusty and ransackle and unsafe. Hmm. But, oh, but oh, cool. Does, That's what these are I'm looking. Yeah. The stairs. Like, does oh. it look like the, the room was not actually completed? The room looks like it was completed, but you think that some effort was made. You've got low light vision, so you can yeah, you absolutely. have no trouble seeing that after the room was built, some effort was made to put inscriptions on the walls, uh, oh. mosaics and uh, ruins and hieroglyphs, and those are sort of. It looks like that work was started, but never finished. Hmm. Uh, the scaffolds are of a are about ten feet high, and you can see. You know, people at some point in the distant past, somebody would have used the scaffolds to get up high enough to start the writings and etchings on the walls, right. but they don't. They don't look complete yet. By the way, the room is occupied. That's what I want to hear. Oh, by the way. Okay, the little light says occupied. <laughs> occupied. Occupado. Occupado. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, and you see more skull-faced freaks, but that is not all. That's funny. Like one of those airplane lavatory kind of warning sign things, yeah, you know? Ding. That's just like bing. It's like a, a, a little, little dwarf with a, with a slash through it. Right. You know? It is now safe to kick butt in the cabin. Yeah, let's hope that these, let's hope that these continue to be minions. 
the guys uh, that you recognize as minions before are in fact minions. Okay. So you gotta get up on you gotta get up on these guys. Wow, there's a lot of guys in here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six minions. Two crossbow guys. Yeah. Uh, there's something else here too. Uh, which looks. A displacer beast. <laughs> a beholder. <laughs> a piercer. Remember the piercer. The, 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 what the, the fuck? What? We'll talk about the piercer in a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. What <laughs> the hell is that? It's like a paper shredder. It's like a living it's the paper mang- shredder. It's the mangler. Looks kind of like a bear trap or something, right? It does. It looks like essentially exactly what you see: a giant hinged set of metal jaws, and uh, they use it for some ritual. Is it covered caked with gore? It does seem to have some uh, blood and uh, strands hanging from it, its teeth. I mean, is it immobile? Is it is it animated? Uh, it does not, not appear to be animated. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's a, a it's a device. We can use it. All right. It does just look like a device um, sitting with its jaws open on the floor. Yeah, it tries to, yeah, okay. And so, the, and for the benefit of the listeners, and if this gets tiresome, I'll stop. But for the benefit of the listeners, there are two crossbowmen uh, standing atop scaffolds on either side of this room, and uh, two minions, one on each scaffolding, and then there are uh, four other minions, three next to the supplies, and a, and, a, and, a, and a fourth over near a couple of piles of skulls. Yes. If you're trying to visualize this Tending room, them, I yeah, assume. It's like a 20 by 20 room. Uh, and then the figure I'm putting down now appears to be some sort of leader type. Uh, basically, oh, a big, uh, brutish thug with uh, just sort of a, a, a black leather vest. And he has got a, a helmet on with a visor that looks like a skull. And what's distinctive about him is he has this gigantic bashing maul. Uh, this great club uh, that he wields. Um, that does not look like... The business so, end looks uh, most unkind. Now that I've scoped this out, <laughs> I, look up back at you, up. I look up at you and I do some <laughs> no. tight-ass military hand signals. We right, catch I do all this. of that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> For the benefit of the listener, yeah. you should have been here. That was really loud. Yeah, was and <laughs> you're... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, one... <laughs> one clampy one? Hmm? All right. You're no, able to hear the no, only no, you're all. the only voice you hear is one of the minions looking at the inscriptions on the wall, saying, "What the hell is this crap anyway?" Are, what are they working on them? Uh, no, they in fact look utterly bored and contemptuous and yeah. sad. They didn't want this job. Uh, it sucks. They get all the bitch work from the cult. I'm sure. You yeah. hear them going off on uh, someone they call Falk, saying. How much longer do we have to stay down here to entertain his l- sordid fantasies? What sordid mean? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I told you you should have taken that correspondence course. <laughs> all right, you well. Gone to what's with all these skulls? They look like goblin skulls. Do something, dwarf. I'm standing I'm here. Hungry. I'm hearing a lot of stuff. Can we crack open some food? Falk says no. Not until he gets back. Not until he gets back. I am going to uh, drop down. Okay. I guess there's no way to avoid dropping on the difficult yeah. terrain. Uh, no. You you could attempt acrobatics an acrobatics check to land in an adjacent oh, square. Yeah. It's still a 20 foot drop though, Benwin. Uh, you you'll probably want to make a, a check just to minimize the damage. Hello, donuts. It's time for donuts. By the so way. it's 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 best for me to uh, make Can't a roll talk, to minimize eating. damage. Because I'd like to kind of swing and land over by that clump, uh, but if I've got a twenty foot drop, oh, I have a twenty foot drop after I'm down at the end of the rope. No, no. really? The ceiling is twenty feet high. The scaffolding is ten feet high. Okay. So you are coming down from the ceiling. So there's a twenty foot drop to the floor. All right. Well, now so that drop, I have to make a roll to make sure I don't tumble and look like a fool. You're going to take damage no matter what, and there's no way that you're going to keep combat advantage. And I hate to, I'm sorry to be metagaming, but there's no way you're going to keep combat advantage when you land down there. You should just go down the rope and not take the extra damage from the yes. from yeah. the fall. I mean, you're just... You're <coughs> no, gonna no. Get, you're gonna, you're now gonna we're look. scoped. I mean, the, the, what, what, that, what, what cinching that ladder up gave us was mm-hmm. information. Yeah. Un, untwist it. Oh, yeah, now cut. Let that sucker drop. All right. When it drops here, what the... Yeah. What the yeah, it's going to be a big the... surprise. And then you hear a voice say, 
Hey, stay the hell up there. We'll let you know when it's time to come down. The time has come. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, this dwarf comes scampering down. Uh, you can put yourself in any of those four difficult terrain squares. All right. Obviously, yeah. you can step out of difficult terrain without the yeah, penalty. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're fine to get out of it. Yeah. It, I think it's time to go to work, man. Yeah. So, so descending, fun. it's let's do the whole initiative thing. Binwin's presence has oh, set off a... Oh! Oh! Binwin landed on his head. <laughs> Four initiative. Four! All your, all your friends are going to land on your oh, shoulders and then spring into action. While Fourteen. You're still standing there. Twelve? No, nine. Nine. I misread the okay. number. Jim. Holy oh, shit, no, not 20. 27. 27. Hello. And sorry, Omen? Uh, that's 13. Okay. Uh, you see Binwin drop down, and there's this sort of moment of silence down below, and then you hear, Get him! Yeah! Get him! <laughs> uh, what do you do? That's tough. Uh, <clears throat> Where the hell did the dwarf come from? Shut up! So, yeah, I mean, what are his options for getting, for doing stuff? If I climb down the currently rope, you're in the you're move, in the or? back end of things, so you are let's see four squares five squares you are seven squares up, your movement is six. So if you were to just take a move, you'd still be dangling on the end of the. But but he had visibility into the room. Yes, you'd be Can in the room. Can he cast spells hanging by his Absolutely. feet from the ladder? Or just, he could cast spells. It's a rope ladder, so he yes. can just cinch up with one arm and hang from the ladder. Two wands. <laughs> so I'm sort of hanging up above him here. Okay. Um, yeah, just put yourself in a square. Yeah. Okay. How high off the ground do you want to be? Uh, you can be anywhere. What's from the highest I can be, but still see into this room? Twenty feet up. Okay, well, I'm I'm twenty feet up, right in the okay. ceiling. Well, how many squares does that represent? Like it's four squares. The air? Keep in mind, though, that That's you're going to also prevent others from coming down the ladder if you just stay there. You count distance the same way anybody would if they were on the ground. Okay. Say that again. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, that's true. Well, he wants to know if what Scott wants to know is if can can someone else get down on the other side yes. of the rope ladder? Yes, you can move oh, yeah. through. You can move through friendly squares even oh, okay. on the ladder. I'm, I'm not it's, blocking the. Path. It's awkward. Oh, no, no. It's awkward and hysterical, but you yeah, can yeah. Do it. It's hijinks. Ow! Ow! <laughs> ow! Mm, ow! Foot on the face. 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 Ow! Right. All right. Well, I think I'm going to do a. Uh, I think I'm going to do a scorching burst down here. Okay. These guys are all adjacent, right? Uh, yes. You could center the middle guy and hit all three of them. That's going to be hot. Hopefully. Uh, You'll also hit their provisions, but they're in crates and stuff, so they won't do much damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Scorching Burst. This is a plus 7 attack bonus. 11 plus 7. 18 on the first one. Uh, that's a hit. Bucks. Gone. Do I keep doing... Yeah, you make a separate attack against each one. So I don't do the damage yet. Oh, because they're minions, so they yeah. just They just die. pop. They right. just pop. Uh, okay, so then we'll do this guy over here, I guess. 20. Plus so he's 7, so 27. Wow. He's gone. He's gone. Critical hit. He's especially obliterated. Yes. <laughs> and the last guy. His helmet goes flying through the air. Smoking. 9 him. plus 7. 16 against yeah. reflex is a hit. All right. All right. Boom! Jim <laughs> Dark <laughs> Magic! Ladies and gentlemen, the Jim Dark Magic Magic! Three guys go up like torches. Um, and then clatter to the ground. While hanging from a rope ladder. <laughs> While hanging from a rope it's, ladder. It really is great. That's I how see him hanging, is. like he's got his knees tucked in, he's hanging upside down, casting. <coughs> oh yeah, one stave, <laughs> staves. That's yeah. going to be fun to draw. That'll be a funny one, yeah. <laughs> Alright, the next thing that happens is the guy with the big ass maul um, comes charging, uh, down, the charging down the scaffolding. I'm worried about this to this metal tooth thing. Actually, no, he doesn't. He just goes... Seems to me like unless we step in it, it's not going to be a problem. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I don't, I don't know what purpose it serves. That thing is so coming to life. All right, he gets to there. It's going to become good. Ambulatory. It's going to be. And then he nom, says, nom, 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 he nom, says nom, to the dwarf, nom. "You dwarf, I don't like you. Yes, you're going to die. He's marked me. I'm going to bash your brains." Do I, can I assume that means he's marked me and I'll have a combat disadvantage against others? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's not what the game is about. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, is that what that means? In fact, not Good. yet. Okay. Oh. We're not exactly sure what kind of person he is yet. Okay. The two crossbowmen uh, will take shots at those they can see. One on Binwin, one on Jim. Binwin, hmm. that is a 26. That's hit. a hit. Yeah. For is this versus AC? Three, yeah. yeah. Three damage. Just a, a glancing shot. Uh, Jim, 
Uh, that's a measly 13 versus AC. Yes. Oh. Okay. You swung out of that. You're so dazzled by know. just like oh, the, 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 the little hey, blue sparkly uh, still coming out yeah. your fingers. So I am a total of... Yeah, what is that? I think so, that's Jim Dark Magic. So I, was, I, I was just I was like, wow, that is so cool. Oh, the New Hampshire Dark Magics? <laughs> They're a little bit impressed. <laughs> Dude, those guys just got Dark Magic magic. <laughs> what you did to Bob was not cool, but at the same time... It, it was, was so, so cool. cool. Yeah. So uh, I was up um, behind, one mm-hmm. behind him. So I mean, how many, am I, how many squares am I technically out of this? Uh, thing? You are five down? squares from the bottom. Okay. Well, I'm going to come down Okay. and go right here. Uh, you have to come down into a square with the difficult terrain. That's fine. Okay. I don't want to blast. I'm going to stay away, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Let's um, get closer to the metal teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's behind me. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dish up something y'all ain't never heard before. Uh, Sacred Flame. Well, no, that's not what I'm going to do. Sacred Flame sucks. Uh, but it's the only attack I have that can hit at range like that. So here we go. Hmm. Uh... Sorry, who's your target? Uh, 19. Attacking this. Got it. Uh, 19, 19 is going to hit him. I love it. Uh, that is a d6 plus 3. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to give Binwin uh, two bonus hit points. I'll take it. So total damage is 6. Well done. Okay. Uh, you rock him with that, and he staggers a little bit, and you see the scaffolding under him kind of shift and wobble, and all this dust. Yeah, there may be some fall advantage. there it. may be some opportunities there to deal with this shit. Yes. Uh, then immediately after that, minions go. This is a Chris. This is a pretty cool setup. Thanks. Like everybody together on this mound. Like yeah, this is it's very. Awesome. It's got a Helm's Deep thing that is really working for me. And over here, only this guy can attack, and he hits. Is it attack Jim? Oh no! Wait, Jim's up. Yeah, he's, I'm still he's hanging got altitude. Out the road. He'll move over to here and engage Mr. Bronze Bottom. Messier. Mr. Bronze Bottom. Yes. Uh, that's only uh, 18 versus AC. No. No. You deflect it. I do. Well done. And now we come to Aeolifel. Uh I will come down okay. the uh, ladder. Done. Um, and... and you still have two points of movement to spare. Okay, so I come down to the bottom here, and it costs me... I So explain to me difficult terrain, because this is new to me. If you move into a square with difficult terrain, it costs double. And if I move out of a square, it's no problem. Regular terrain, movement. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to step out of the difficult terrain uh, down uh, here. Okay. Um, and I'm going to attack this uh, fool... With my uh, overwhelming strike. <laughs> so this is a uh, wisdom versus AC. 12, 15. Uh, 15 versus AC on the minion is a miss. Well, crap. Crap's over. Hey, oh, no, hold on a second. So your wisdom, your wisdom score is three, mm-hmm. but we add, we add half level. Your bonus is actually four to attack, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah. yeah so it's... Uh, 16, is that a... Uh, versus AC? Yeah. Is a miss. Oh. Yeah, I should write that down here. Yeah, you know, actually I did write down. See this giant yeah. plus four I put down here? <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm trying to help. I didn't use the computer to make my... Uh, oh, yeah. My it's all, it's okay. Know, it's all sort of like... Um, I did my shit on vellum. Yeah. <laughs> all right. He, he deflects you with his shield. <laughs> all right. And that brings us to... And I curse him. <laughs> as you should. Binwin. Right. I know that the big guys marked me, but I have plenty of time to fight him. Meanwhile, I've got these two minions close to oh, me. You, you sure do. I'm going to do a sweeping blow. This paint? is a burst mm-hmm. with uh, one adjacent square. I okay. also get, uh, since I'm wielding an axe, I get half of my strength modifier as a, a bonus to my attack roll. Nice. So I get a plus 10 to this roll. So 20. Hit. Versus AC. Dead. Uh, so I guess both of them, right? Yeah. All right. So you have to you hit go. both of them? I have to do it. I have to hit both, right? Yeah. Well, it's just, it's a, I don't know, you tell me. It's you close first one. Yes. You so roll we're... against each target within the burst. 13. Mm. That's I mean, a miss. Miss the second guy. Okay. And that's okay. You know what? Yes. That's fine. Uh, one of them goes tumbling backwards over the brazier and does not get up. And then we are back at the top with Jim hanging by a thread. Jim Dark Magic. So we got to uh, get you out of there. Trying to drop down. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I, can't I, you I, fly yeah, down? Yeah, I guess physically he can't attack you. Like that's actually a really good place for you to be. Yeah, maybe I'll just stay you up there. You can touch everybody bit. from there. Yeah, I'm gonna hang out up there. I feel like these really are the guys that are the threats to Jim. Yes. And yeah. so I'm gonna go after them. Start working. Uh, I'm gonna go magic missile on. Has, has, sorry, have either of them been hit? One yet? of them has been hit. Yeah, he's been hit. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna hit this guy over here then. All right. Uh, Jim's magic missile. Eighteen oh, plus geez. seven versus. Uh, Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Reflex. Roll your damages. So this is two uh, d four plus six. Zork. Yeah. So I forget how eleven you these. four. And one. You read them differently. One has it on the top and one has it on the bottom. So it's um, five plus six. Yep. Yeah, yep. So 11. 11. All right. Oh. Nicely done. <laughs> Good. Glad, Glad to help. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to reach <laughs> <out> <laughs> <my own. laughs> That's all right. Listen, all I did was turn on the light. You actually walked into the room. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Uh, okay, yeah. So I hit him for yeah. a while. We're going to keep working on that guy. It's coming in over here. And they will start pecking, picking off Jim. Uh oh. They know trouble when they see it. Uh, the first one rolls a 15 versus AC. Uh, no. The second one rolls a 27 versus AC. That will hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie, that's a, that's a solid product. Product. Seven damage. Okay. Did you see Jim up on the ladder go, ah! <laughs> Swing back and forth, kind of twists around. You, you dodge one arrow like, ha ha, <laughs> miss, and you swing right at the second right one. The second cool! One. This one will move to here and then charge Binwin. Oh, Bring it! With his big death mallet. Uh, all right. Here comes the boss. My next move, boss. It's going to please you. Yeah? Yes. I I'm ready. He is a little sad in his rage. He did not connect. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he only rolled a 14. I dodged your AC. that shit. All right. There's a lesson here, kids. Sometimes I, when you're so angry, you hold, it, you hold right. the mall a little too tightly. <laughs> what, what is Duke, yeah, Duke, yeah. Duke is going to come out at the end of this whole encounter. Yeah. He's really going to break it down. Uh, <laughs> but you see, he is working himself up into a rage, and he seems to like that a great deal. Oh, no, he's a oh, barbarian he's a or barbarian. something. Okay, so and uh, then, let us see, let us see. So crossbows have gone, he's gone, minions. Next up is the... They're gone, they're gone. Omen. All right. Uh... Jim, do you have this situation? I'm fine. Okay. That's and you have you have not been hit yet. You're okay. I'm only at twenty. I'm at twenty one, so I'm okay. Okay. And you're hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna move into that space. Okay. Does that provoke an attack? No. Okay. Uh, Unless you're going to use a ranged attack now. No, no, no. I'm not. Okay. Uh, I am going to utilize. If you spam this guy. Then it, then we can combat advantage. It. We can flank this guy in the next turn. I don't know if you want to waste. Oh, your move. Oh, I don't, I don't know just, if you want to waste your move in the minute. No, but I can just move up here. No, I can just break him down. Then that, that, that's what we need. Either flank him for me or for him, which mm -hmm. is probably for probably better. All right, I'm gonna dish up uh, my righteous brand of vengeance. Okay. Uh, on this cat. Seventeen AC. Miss. Son of a. F wow. This this is this is a higher. A higher actually, he's really shield. he's more of a lackey than a minion. Yeah, he yeah. is, and in fact, he's called a human lackey. <laughs> <laughs> he's still a minion, though. Uh, all right, you are surprised when your blow is buffeted away by a shield. Uh, then he will return the favor and try to smash you in the chest with his club. Uh, that will be a twenty-three. Yes, that is that's good. Six points of damage. I will take it. His other buddy will bash on Binwin. But rolls pathetically. I love it. Those are the only two minions, so now it is the Aladrin. I swear an oath of enmity against that um, the minion lackey, which I should have done on the last turn mm. and I just forgot to do. Okay. Because uh, he makes me angry. Right. Uh, and um, so that's what that's what that sets up is this uh, bond of retribution. Okay. Uh, which is an at will thing. I don't think I'm going to use this now, right now, but okay. this this is what this does. This is cool. This is an at will divine radiant standard melee uh, uh, attack with avocado. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, and I really recommend getting it on wheat. Um, uh, it targets one creature. It's wisdom versus AC. It does uh, weapon plus wisdom modifier. The first time an enemy other than the target hits or misses you before the end of your next turn. The target takes radiant damage equal to your oh, intelligence modifier. Sick. Why? So, so just set it up on him and then get out of there. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, anyway, that's that's my at will that I can uh, that I can do. That makes me uh, happy. So um, 
How many standard actions do you get on a, on a turn? One. Sorry? One? One standard. Okay, so... Um, one move, one minor. Alright, very good. Then I'm gonna... Uh, where is that there? I'm going to overwhelming strike this guy. All right. That's what I like to see. Yeah. So it's wisdom versus AC, and it's plus four. That's right. Matter of fact. Yeah. Woo! Fourteen. Oh. I think that's probably not going to do it. Uh, unfortunately, not. Oof. Okay. Then, Binwin. Oh yes. Hi, um, Binwin. Oh, I'm going to shift back. I can do that, right? Oh yeah. Shift, okay. Absolutely. Yeah, you're you're on gonna, open yeah, terrain. I'm going to shift back there. So, as a minor action. Yeah. I look at this guy with the mall right in the eye, reach behind my back, pull out my battle standard, <laughs> find it, and say, Acquisitions Incorporated! <laughs> you know, some branding. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So he knows. Does his mighty voice shake the chamber a little bit? Maybe some <laughs> dust falls from the ceiling? Yes, the scaffolds tremble. There are customers everywhere, even in subterranean crypts. This creates a space... Uh, since it's in the space uh, next to me, it creates mm -hmm. a zone. Mm -hmm. Close burst five. Nice. When I'm in this zone, or any of, of you are in this it's zone. It's the zone. Let's just, from here on yeah, out, we'll Plus zone. one power yeah. to damage bonus. Nice. Plus one power on damage rolls. Nice. Until the end of the encounter, or unless he removes it from the ground, so don't tell him that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, just, he just kicks over our awesome banner. <laughs> then, I am going... To use a reaping strike uh -huh. on that mofo. Excellent. That is a six plus uh, nine. Uh, plus fifteen. Let's ma maybe, maybe six plus nine is a hit. Okay. Uh, on the barbarian. Guy. Armor is not his strength. So that's good news. My uh, flesh-seeking war axe loves the taste of his blood. So you get a plus one next time. I'm using that encounter for him so that I get a plus one on my next attack. Right. And. Now I get to do 1d12. Come on, big. Shit. Three, Three plus seven. Seven. Right. So ten, and then plus one for the, the band. battle standard. Yep. So eleven. Eleven. Well done. He got hit. That's he the main that. thing. Ah! <laughs> Whenever you are here, he spits out I one of his teeth like at you. Me. Oh, really? I can't help it. Look at that. Are you drawing like me, or yeah, do I, I just do... always draw like you, and you're drawing like you? Uh, let's go with that one. That's it. Mm. If this is drawn like me, then I'm a badass. <laughs> uh, as you smack this berserker, he spits his loose tooth out at you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Is that a game ability? Or? <laughs> that's a that's a minor action. It's a minor action. Spitting it's a free action. Free action. Free action. Free action. Spit your own teeth is a free action. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's Jim. Scott Kurtz Dark Magic. <laughs> Jim Dark Magic. <laughs> You're up. Jim Dark Magic is up. Still hanging from the ceiling. Yep. Uh, still angry at these crossbow guys. That's awesome. Um, this is the one that was hurt, right? Right. He sort of scooted yeah. around the side. Yeah. I'm going to focus on him again with uh, Jim's magic missile. So this is, uh, I always forget, plus seven. 18. Okay, that's going to do it. And uh, 2d4 plus six. One and a one. one. Boy, that blows. So. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Eight, yeah. All right. Uh, that is enough to bloody him, however. That's good. Yeah, we'll keep chewing him up. <laughs> okay. All right, so Ben Wynn has gone. Jim has gone. Yes. That, Jim was the top of the initiative. Next is the bad guys. Uh, I'm going to slide him to here so that he is flanking Ben Wynn. Son With of a, a bee. He does not like you at all. I don't, don't blame him. Uh, well, all you do is come down. Unfortunately, he can't. Like, he's a dwarf. Listen, usually when uh, when <laughs> fighters are sized up, that there's a better fighter in the room. You oh, know, then they feel and then they <laughs> get all testosterone yeah. rushing. Yeah, and he's right. got to come up and show me his dick's bigger than mine, but it ain't. Right, of course. Which has got to kill him because you're a dwarf. Right. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, uh, when I say bigger, I mean width. I don't oh, mean right. It's like a coffee can. It's like a tuna can. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like, an, it's like an exam. It's, 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 Whenever it's the girls see me coming, they're like, it's more some time for some more chicken of the sea. <laughs> Unfortunately, he cannot hit you to save his life. That's good. What did you just do? What did you just signal he's saying, him? Kiko's saying he's going to cut that out. Really? That's that's a material. All right. Dwarf penises shaped like tuna cans. And then when women see him coming up, they say it's time for more chicken of the sea. Hilarious. Yeah, cut that out, Kiko. You're going to have to keep cutting. <laughs> Five hours. <laughs> vagina, 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 vagina. Dick tuna, dick tuna. <laughs> all right, all right. 
A little mayo with that dick tuna? Right. Chris Perkins, I'm, I'm ready. Please cut that part out. Please cut that part out. Edit that in post. The crossbowmen shoot at Jim Dark Magic. <laughs> Continually. The first one uh, is going to hit you with a 28. <laughs> sorry. It does eight points of damage. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the second one does a 20 hit your AC. Yeah. yeah. It does seven points of damage. Okay, now I'm getting hurt. <laughs> Are you cutting down? Plus one, Scott. Yeah. Plus one. I'll help you. <laughs> I have six hit points left. Shift. Yeah. On my turn. I'll help you out. Yeah. the tuna man. <laughs> All right. Hey, Jim just wants to let everyone know he is... He's uh, hurt. He's hurt real bad. Well, I think you should talk to the uh, cleric. About that. Yeah. I know. I mean, do you want me to hold my axe against you and make you feel better? It's cool. I Everybody the, make I perception the, checks. I got the facts. Oh, my. Oh, yes. Let me know if you rolled a... Shit, let me know if you rolled a 22 or higher. Uh, uh, 22 is exactly... 33 higher than 22? Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah that's right. Today, uh, I made it exactly. <laughs> All right. Omen and Erlefell. Notice a figure skulking underneath the Son scaffolding. Of, is, it a, is, it a, is it a skulker? Oh, man. Splug's here to help us. It's what's gonna. It's Can what's gonna. Heal? It's what's gonna make the nom nom. Yeah, this guy is life. actually underneath the scaffolding. And is he a he, ninja? He looks like some sort of roguish type. He is all wrapped Shit. up in black cloaks. He seemed to have come in through the doors here, uh, and then just sort of crawled his way under the scaffolding, and he's trying to get around to this side of the room. Okay. Really and odd. remain. Actually, he's one back. And remain. Is, is it possible to point him out? Uh, now that you've seen him, you can yeah. say, uh, "Guys, guys." Yeah, yeah. In the middle of the scaffold. Ninja. There's, yeah, there's <laughs> some kind of uh, shadowed killer. Uh, be on the lookout. Certainly, it's just a memo, basically. Okay. Uh, and you can see he was all trying to be sneaky and stuff, so he's a little miffed yeah. when uh, you suddenly, both down. of you, look hard in his direction. The reason is a drawing of a night off on that. I don't know why. Yeah, and we come know. to Omen. Yes. You're up. All right. Um, so, as a, Did I as grab a my sketch paper. Is there that? any blank paper in I, here? I, I blank paper. The answer to that would be no. I'm gonna deface these penny arcade drawings here. There you go. That's blank. Give me that stuff. All right. I ah. think you just wanted to brag about how good a drawer you are. But you want some paper? Here, look at my awesome drawings. <laughs> okay. uh, as a miner, I'm gonna kick up a healing word on Jim. Good call. <clears throat> Uh, so it's, uh... So you get to spend your healing surge value. So help me out. Surge value. Surge value is So you get seven, seven. hit points back, when, but I, uh, on top I rolled of that. a one on a d6. Okay. So you get eight hit points there back. You go. Just like 14? that. Yeah, 14. And you reduce the number of healing surges you have by one. That comes back each day. Um, so now you have, yeah. Okay, so, uh, but I'm still working. Yep. I'm still working for my money. Uh, I'm going to dish up the healing strike. Great. Remember uh, your battle standard. On this cat. Okay. Yeah, I, I won't forget it. I'm was I using the battle standard? Was I? I took that into account. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's great. So the, the enemy doesn't have to be in the zone. The person initiating the attack, is, right. as long as they're in the zone. That's yeah. great. That was a great investment. I know, right? Well, <laughs> What's up? Can you heal me anymore? Oh, yeah. The, 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 I'm, I'm going to dish up a healing strike now. Oh, okay. And if it lands, you're going to get a bunch more. Okay. All right. Uh, that's, that's the hope. Uh, I'm, That's the hope. I'm hitting someone who doesn't wear armor, so hopefully I can I can manage that. D twenty plus seven. Fuck. Seriously? Yeah. Oh. A three. Okay. Jim is not impressed. Moving on quickly now. <laughs> the Jim min- is fucked. The minions. Uh, one of them will pound on Omen, or try. Uh, he rolls a twenty-eight, hits you for six points of damage. The other one will take advantage of the flanking on Binwin. Uh, they cannot hit you to save their lives. Oh, I'm thank so the glad. gods. That okay. is so opposite of what happened last time. You have no idea. <laughs> and we jump to our Aladdin Avenger. All right. So now I have all these cool, like, kind of burst uh, deal things. Uh, I'm going to be using one of them. I love uh, it. <clears throat> so uh, let's see here. We have the... Uh... How much does this weigh? It looks pretty heavy. It's it looks like solid iron and steel. You'd estimate maybe about 300, 400 pounds. Not twenty pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Correct. Okay. So, it's, it's, All right. so they got the nice one. They got the nice version. Now the braziers, the golden laid braziers, you're probably they're probably about twenty pounds each, and they're full of uh, hot, burning embers. 
I will shift forward one yeah. square here, and I'm going to uh, use my Halo of Fire mm -hmm. on uh, my uh, um, Oath of Enmity target yeah. of, of Ire. So this is cool. Listen to Halo of Fire. Um, yeah. Targets, <clears throat> a circle of flame erupts around your foe, harming any other enemy that moves near the creature. Yes. Uh, standard action, melee weapon, wisdom versus AC, hit. Uh, two times weapon plus wisdom modifier fire damage until the end of your next turn any enemy that ends its turn adjacent to the target takes five fire damage and because I have this class thing called censure of retribution yeah. the fire damage is five plus my intelligence modifier so it'll be seven fire damage if I can manage to land a hit Wow! and right. it would be seven fire damage like if I don't kill him then then this guy anyway the, the, the hope here is that Mr. Barbarian is gonna gonna get some, some pain get, get singed yeah so this is uh, wisdom versus AC so that's uh Oh, this is also big old plus four. Right there. Okay, thirteen. Not yeah, bad. Yeah. So you're looking at seventeen. Yeah, that's a hit. Excellent. He so goes I do... down, obviously, because he's a minion. Right. Um, and now uh, this guy takes seven fire damage. Ah! How far can you move braziers? Well, with mage hand, I can move things. Uh, All right. Uh, he looks. Squares. Infuriated. Right. The, uh, the barbarian has managed to get himself enraged, it's guys. Full of, it's full of hot uh, coals. He is I, I think the himself. result is going to be good. Yeah, but how do you determine damage okay. on hot coals? Is that his job? Yeah, yeah. I see. We'll Next, guess. it's uh, Binwin. You are flanked currently. Okay. I would like to shift out of that position if that's possible. Or, you know. Yeah, you sure can. You can. Let me see. Where. Uh, could he technically shift into the space Jim's in? Because I'm above him. You right? could shift <clears throat> underneath him. If that's I have the way always you want great Actually, no, you can't because adjacent. you can't shift underneath Jim because that's difficult terrain. Yeah. You can't oh, shift right. in difficult terrain. So, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that minion right now. I'm going to. Uh, if I shift to here, am I still flanked? No. No. Okay. You're not. You're totally safe. Well. Well, not safe. Yeah, you're still by a barbarian, but you're not flanked. Very good. Um. I have all these wonderful attacks that involve attacking a second target after, but I can't do it because I can't get anyone adjacent, right? Well, a the pass passing, passing, passing attack, attack right? you hit, yeah, and then move and hit again. Uh -huh. That's a pretty I good I can one. then shift so one square. Like wing, okay, here's what I'm going to do, guys. Passing attack. Marked on this guy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a hit. Nice. 19. That was awesome. That's nice. Right. Right. D20 rolled nine. underneath a napkin on the table, and we all waited to see, like, ooh, what's going to be, what, what's it going to be? And then he, like, just casually lifts it up, because Scott can see it before the rest of us. Yes. So, yeah, it's yes. 19. Yes, 18 points of damage Ow. Big on hit. him. Then, then I turn on your heel. He is now bloodied. Spin around. <clears throat> when he is bloodied, square. he flies into a battle fury. Uh-oh, so it's worse? Yes. Sorry. Oh, excuse me. Fucking I'm sorry. Brains. That is 19 points of damage. Oh, battle standard. Oh, battle standard. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. All right, now you're going to dish yeah. it up on, on, on target two. Maybe not. Though. Maybe not. Five <laughs> plus uh, eight. Secondary attack strength plus two versus armor class. That's a myth. So, uh, yeah, that would nine or five. That's uh, uh, What's eight and five? 13? 13. 13. Yeah. 14, 15. So. Not enough. Not, not for that guy. Very good. But you All know right. what? Enough. That's Quite okay. Enough. Yeah. No, okay. no. The first Jim. 19 points in a round is pretty hot. So I can use an at-will power in addition to an attack? Not the best point. An at-will power is your attack. Is your attack. Oh. Yep. Well, okay. Give me, give me one second here. Yeah, that, between that and the action point. Oh, come on. No, in one round, you could have done it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just and bounce back and forth. <laughs> we'll have an opportunity to do it. Trust I know. Me. It's coming. All right. Well... How do I know if throwing one of these braziers is going to be better? Ask than... him for a for a guess. I mean, in terms of he he wants to know he wants to try a creative solution, which is to say okay. dump hot coals onto a mm -hmm. man. Is that uh, better than using one of his magic spells? It will if you succeed in hitting him uh, with this with this improvised weapon, you'll do a d8 fire damage, and he'll have ongoing five oh, fire so damage. Oh, so he'll take a shot from it. Yeah, essentially, he'll catch fire, and until he shakes it off, he'll continue to burn. That seems pretty good. Nah, I like it. I'm gonna try to do that. Okay. So am I? What I'm rolling. Uh, so you're mage basically. And here is what I want to use, right? Yep. Yeah, so you're basically just tossing the braziers full of hot coals at him. Just make a ranged attack roll. Um, so it's your base attack bonus plus. Well, it's your base attack bonus. Yeah. Basically. So melee basic magic. Uh, what? So, what's your? Wouldn't it be a magic your, attack? Because it's. 
a mage hand. I'm grabbing it with magical hand and throwing it at him, right? And, or I'm, but I'm mage hand isn't really moving. isn't normally an attack power. So you're you're using we're improvising. A, you're, you're improvising. So what's your dexterity modifier? Fourteen. Or, or, oh, two. Okay. Um, and what's Mod, your, what's one level actually, your, what's your intelligence modifier? Sorry. Intelligence modifier is five. Is that with one half level? Yeah. Six. Okay, so it's a plus six attack. So you roll a d20? Yeah. Plus six. And because it's an improvised weapon, you're taking a slight penalty, but I won't tell you what that is. Yeah, 15. Uh, you're attacking his reflex defense. That's going to hit. Which so, one are you attacking? The minion? Uh, no, I'm trying to throw this at this crossbow. Oh, up there. Okay. Oh, nice. So you toss a, you toss a <laughs> big yeah. pile of uh, embers well, at him. Okay. Onto, onto the ancient dry wood. So this With a ninja be- underneath it. Yes. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> that thing is brittle. Are you attacking the scaffold or are you attacking him? Dude, attack. They're both. They're yeah, both I'm gonna attack the scaffold. Okay. They're both on there. I mean, like yeah. you're gonna have to get yeah. off, and it's gonna be yes. sweet. Yes. All right. You cast the embers onto the scaffold. Uh, roll your damage. Which a d8. D8. And you light up the scaffold, which is all dry and three. Okay. So the scaffold is currently on fire. In Do this I get a modifier to that at all? No. no, no it, it, it's just going to keep burning this Yeah, scaffold. it's going to take damage okay. at the start of your turn, basically. Okay, so it starts to light up. And they, look, get hot. they look very nervous. Uh, that's Jim's go. Are you happy hanging there? You're not going to move at all? Jim is going to stay up there. Okay. <laughs> for now. All right. It's working out pretty well for Jim yeah. to up on the ladder. Uh, are you marking that... Uh, Berserker. You know what? Yeah, you marked him at the beginning. Isn't that what that whole thing was? <laughs> he marked me, uh, or I thought he had. You know he, what? I, I, I'm going to be honest. I did not remember to mark him. Okay. Uh, in that case... He's going to hit me. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Honestly, well, wins out. He's, he's kind of in a rage right now. He's not too particular about who he hits, so I'll say odd is Omen. It is you. Uh, Here it comes. <laughs> uh, in his battle fury, he gets a plus four on his bonus to attack roll and deals an extra d6 damage. That's great. Uh, so, love, you rolled that. a 26. No, actually. Uh, <laughs> no, what? Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> 26? Okay, I guess. All right. Uh, he does a total of 17 points of damage. Ow. Oh, jeez. Holy well, shit. I guess Crunch. is not the best policy. You got brutalized. That is as bad as it could possibly be. 